Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Average Joe Sports. This is the post game uh, edition of the Huskies versus Boise State game. Um, final score 38-6. Uh, an unprecedented victory uh, to, to say the least. Um, you know, let's just let's just get into what Husky Stadium actually, in fact, looked like. It's it's a it's 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 a magnificent stadium. I mean, I wasn't exactly the biggest fan of the refurbishment, only because the Husky Stadium that I know and and the things that I had my memories attached to was leaving, only to to create something new. And so this game again was very very important for a bunch of reasons. One, we wanted to get revenge against Boise State. And two, it would what a great way to have a a, a to how to celebrate an opening of a newly remodeled stadium than with a victory. So we got that, and we got it in in absolute spades. I mean, so so many so many highlights. Keith Price, three hundred and twenty four yards, two touchdowns, one interception. That interception was literally the the second play of the game, to which I felt the entire. Audience of about 67,000 people, kind of had this collective, ah, oh, holy Christ, sort of, sort of a, sort of a moment going on. But I kind of wanted, I kind of said to myself, well, maybe that had more to do with he had a case of the jitters, you know, because again, it's the first game at, at home, you know, you, you tend to get excited, and he admitted, you know what, he just said, hey, I made a really, really bad throw. Um, there's just, again, so many highlights. Bishop Sankey was an absolute beast. He had uh, 25 carries, 161 yards, and two touchdowns of his own. I mean, I, listen, I know Bishop Sankey is fast, but it seems like he just kind of turned up an, an extra notch for for this game. And, uh, you know, it it didn't seem like Boise State's defense could, could necessarily stop him because he was able to go head up with these guys and and run and run them over. Um, also, the 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 special teams really came through today either. And a lot of times, you know, in football, it seems like you need to count on the special teams to at least get you one big turnover. And that one big turnover happened uh, with uh, what is his name, uh, uh, Danny Shelton, getting blocking a 34-yard field goal um, uh, of, of, of Boise State's. So that that was huge. That was a huge thing in, in the second quarter. So the defense, the, the the special teams came through, and the defense surprisingly, and it, it and I know it didn't seem like it to the people who were watching the game, but the defense only gave up 175 total rushing yards. So I mean, it wasn't like they, it, it, and it seemed like Ajay was 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 running a rough shot. It really did. It seemed like both both Ajay and Balthazar were running rough shot, but they really weren't. They weren't getting. They weren't getting a ton of yards. And it's that. I think it comes down to that whole bend not break sort sort of defense. I mean, people are going to get their yards. People are going to you know get get by. You just got to you just got to make those tackles. There were a lot of group tacklings. They still need to work on wrapping wrapping the player up, not necessarily throwing a shoulder at him. That's not great. Prop. That's not proper tackling technique. For one and two, again, kids are way stronger now. They don't go down based on you know hitting somebody with the shoulder or or give, give them the forearm shiver. It just doesn't work that way anymore. Um, it's just it was just a great game overall, and we were and and the dogs were able to prove that you know what this ain't Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Also, I need to make a, a couple quick omissions. Um, Boise State is actually not moving to the Big East because I also said they were moving to the ACC, which was a lie. Um, they're, moving, they're not moving to the Big East either. They decided to stay in the Mountain West. So, unfortunately for them, this loss, despite the fact that it comes very, very early, drops them out of the top 25. And they're going to have one hell of a time to get back to the top 25. Um, and if they do, they probably will get back to maybe 20th at the highest. So, unfortunately, your bids for a big BCS Bowl this year are completely shot. Hey, we're sorry, but hey, that's just the way things are. You know, again, it, it, wasn't, the, it wasn't the best Boise State team that I've seen out there. And again, the score was not anywhere what I, what I expected. You know, again, 38 to, 38 to 6. I definitely expected a much, much tighter game. And it, and it was like that for the first half. I mean, we went in with a 10... 10 nothing advantage going going into halftime. So, um, also, 
big shout out to, to my buddy C Booty, aka Chris, for uh, getting me into the game. You, 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 know, you know you know that I, I appreciate that because originally I wasn't going to go to the game because I wasn't able to get tickets but Chris kind of came through at the last minute and, and hooked the brother up so uh, I definitely appreciate that thank you very much true Do true dogs help, help out helping out other true dogs wonderful um, uh, let's see here looking at Boise State Joe Southwick didn't have necessarily have a bad game but he didn't have a good game either uh, 25 of 40 for 152 yards and an interception. Again, that comes back to the defense actually doing exactly what it was supposed to do and, and stopping the pass. It's something that they've had a problem with um, in the past few seasons, giving up, the big, giving up the big long passes. This time, they were definitely able to stop a high-flying offense that, like, like, a, like a Boise State. Um, I said earlier that uh, Boise State had 175 total rushing yards. Uh, the bulk of those came from uh, 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 Jay Ajayi. Uh, with, uh, he had only had 93 yards. Uh, and, it, and, it, and I know it didn't seem like it during the game because it, it seemed like he was able to get through that first level of the defense and get those extra, you know, instead of getting, you know, four or five yards, getting five, 10, 15 yards. It seemed like it, but then I looked at the stats and I was, I was being proven wrong otherwise. So it was really strange. Um, and then uh, Balthazar, he only had 49, 49 rushing yards. Those two total, and I'm just looking at solely at the running backs, they, they combined for 142 yards of total rushing. Just those two by themselves. Uh, Southwick had, had a scramble for a few yards, and then uh, the backup for Southwick, whose name I don't have right now, also got, got, got like five or six extra yards to get them up to that 172 yards. Um, again, the defense... This time, I saw great improvements from last season. They were able to make big stops on third down. They were able to make even bigger stops at fourth and one in goal line situations, and that was huge. I mean, there were there were a lot of times where I was very very worried. Third and you know third and eight, third and ten, going oh god, here we go, third and long. Are oh, we gonna get that stop? And we were able to. And at times we weren't able to get the stop. We were able to stop them before they got to the first down marker. And for the most part, we were able to stop them on the fourth and twos and on the fourth and ones and, and fourth and half, fourth and inches. So that was definitely a huge, huge improvement. So I'm proud of the Husky defense for that. All in all, a great, great evening of Husky football in a brand new remodeled stadium. 67,000 people in attendance. It was great. It was wonderful. It was beautiful. The student section was awesome. The the, the band sounded great from what I could hear. Uh, the, the halftime show that that was presented was was great. Um, it's gonna it's I think it's gonna be a great season. This was one of those 50-50 games that I was talking about, where you know it, it was it was a t it was a toss up matchup in the sense of if we win this game. It's one win closer to uh, to the dogs getting to those nine wins that I expect them to get to. So, you know what? Tied for first in the Pac-12 North right now with Oregon. It's 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 a it's a beautiful weekend. Um, I will be previewing the Illinois game over the course of the week. So, uh, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna head on out. Peace out, Boise. Unfortunately, you know your BCS title hopes are completely shot, but. Keep, keep it going in the Mountain West. I'm sure you guys do a great job. So, go dogs. Peace out.